your talents, your gifts, your skills, your story to build a fortune. The will to do it. What will it take for you to get away from the toxic, negative, energy draining relationships that's compromising your power, that's poisoning your life? The will to do it. Nothing magical. The will to do it. Dale Williams said, "All you can do is all you can do. All you can do, and all you can do is enough. Is enough. But make sure you do all you can do. You can do it. Many times I've been given up while I was sleeping on the floor of the Penobscot building. Many times I could have given up when I was hiding in the closet." from the janitorial staff, hoping they would not find us. Many times, I could have given up when we were bathing in the sink down the hall. And while I was sleeping on the floor of the Penobscot building in Detroit, on the 21st floor, Holly, that's when I got my first check for $2.5 million. I'm saying to you, you are here because there's something in you, something you were born to do, yes, something that has your name on it, yes. a book you're supposed to read, people who are waiting to hear your voice in other places around the world. There are people who couldn't understand me when I was speaking in Malaysia and Singapore, who came up to me and just patted their heart. Indicating I felt you. Everybody saying together, you gotta be hungry. You gotta be hungry. Mr. Brown, what do you want to do with your life, young man? Sir, I want to buy my mother a home. All my life, sir, people compare me with my sister at the University of Miami because I'm not smart like her. Oh, with Wesley, I, I, I want to make my mother proud. Mr. Brown, you gotta be hungry. What do you mean by that, sir? People that are hungry are willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow, others won't have. People that are hungry believe always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. People that are hungry believe you've got to be relentless and unstoppable. Yes, all right, man. I didn't do what I'm doing now for 14 years because it was hard. How many of you know in order to change your life, it's hard? Raise your hands. Very good. Write this down. If you do what is easy, give yourself a pass, make excuses. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. Mm. <laughs> but if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. It was easy to say, well, I, I, I've never worked for a major corporation. I don't know the culture. I've never done it before. It was easy. They say, I've got to compete with people who have more education than I have. It was easy to point out all my shortcomings. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. And so Mr. Brown said, Mr. Washington, Mr. Brown, I want you to work on your mind. You don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Be ye not conformed to this world, be transformed by renewing of your mind. Write this down, what you think about, you bring about. What you think about, you bring about. Keep your mind focused on your mind. According to psychologists, we think 20 to 30,000 thoughts a day. Your thoughts have magnetic power. I started to call a friend the other day, and I picked the phone up, and he was already on the phone. How many of had that happen to you? Your thoughts have magnetic power. You think about somebody saying, speak of the devil, there you are. Your thoughts have magnetic power. There's something in you. How many of you said, I got to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning, and without the assistance of the alarm clock, you got up at 7. Raise your hands, please. Oh, there's genius in you that you haven't even tapped yet. And I, I said, sir, I will work on my mind. And he said, I want you to read 10 to 15 pages of something positive every day. He said, program your mind, young man, or your mind will be programmed. I suggest that you do the same thing. Program your mind. Read 10 to 15 pages of something every day. Turn off the television and turn up your life. 
watch the videos that I sent you over and over and over again. Why? I've seen it. No, 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 no. Watch it until it goes to the subconscious mind and it shows up in your bank account. That's how it works. Woo! I don't want you to just believe it. I want you to know it because you got something to show. There's evidence. And so he said, Mr. Brown, change your relationships, Mr. Brown. Who you hang out with determines who you end up with. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Brown, no excuse is acceptable. Don't give yourself an excuse to give up on your dream. No, sir. So I've given you all I can give you. It's time for you to go out and face the music. I went to Miami Beach. Milton Butterball Smith was a program director. Hello, Mr. Butterball. How are you, sir? My name is Les Rob, sir. I'd like to be a disc jockey. Young man, you have any journalism in your background? No, sir, I don't. Just give me a shot. Let me audition for you. Do you have any experience in broadcasting? No, sir, I don't. But I'm good, sir. I visualize. I, I firm. I, I see myself on there. Just let me show you what I got. He said, no, we don't have any job for you. How many have been rejected? Raise your hands, please. I was devastated with rejection. I went back. I said, Mr. Washington. They said, no. He said, don't take it personally. Most people are so negative, they have to say no seven times before they say yes. Shall they? <laughs> I took that to heart. I went back again. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Barwell. How are you, sir? My name is Les Brown, sir. I'd like to be this jockey. He said, I know what your name is. Weren't you here yesterday? <laughs> yes, sir, I was. Didn't I tell you no yesterday? Yes, sir, you didn't. Why are you back today? Well, sir, I know no one not somebody was laid off or somebody was fired, sir. <laughs> no one was laid off or fired. I get on out of here. I came back the next day. Hello, Mr. Butterball. How are you, sir? My name is Les Brown, sir. I like to be a disc jockey. He said, I don't know what your name is. Weren't you here the last two days? <laughs> yes, sir. Didn't I tell you no the last two days? Yes, sir. Then why are you back today? Well, sir, I don't know whether or not someone got sick or someone died, sir. <laughs> no one got sick or died. No one was laid off a fire. Now, don't you come back here again. I came back the next day. <laughs> Talking loud. Looking happy, kidding, like I've seen you for the first time. I said, hello, Mr. Butterball, how are you? He looked at me with rage. He says, go get me some coffee. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> My favorite book says, the greatest among you will be your servant. Yeah. How many of you are serious about your goals? Raise your hands, please. Yeah. Write this down. Provide more service than you get paid for. Oh, yeah. 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 Provide more service when you get paid for. Lorraine said, Les, I got some men of honor I want you to speak to. I said, okay. Then I got through with that. She said, Les, won't you take some pictures with some of my people? <laughs> yes, I will go to that. <laughs> and Les, I'm, when you got get through with that, I want to take some other pictures when you get through. Yes, ma'am, Miss Lorraine, I know this. <laughs> work me, she worked me like a Hebrew slave. <laughs> And by me, by me, by me. Listen to me up in here. And she got me on a K-Mart special. <laughs> Give before you ask. Yes, give before you ask. Mm -hmm. yeah, I did this. I said, I got some videos I want to give you. Then I said, how many of you want to make money with me? Remember that? Yeah. I gave you something of value yeah. first that's going to make a difference in your life. A lot of people use trying to sell a business. Don't go up in there trying to sell the business. Don't advance with the business. Give some value. Make some impact. Give a compliment because at the end of the day, people buy you, on, not what yes, you sir. have. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, so, I said, look here, young man. Yes, sir. Donald Ross and the Supremes are coming to town. The Four Tops and the Temptations. 
Here are my car keys. I want you to pick them up and take them to the Fountain Blue Hotel. Okay. Yes, sir. Be my honor, sir, to serve you. I was driving them all over Miami Beach in the discharge of big old Cadillacs. Didn't have any driver's license, but I'll drive my <laughs> Then one day, it's a Saturday afternoon, a disc jockey by the name of Rockin' Roger was drinking while he was on the air. Rockin' Roger got so drunk, he could not complete the show. It's a Saturday afternoon, and I was the only one there, looking at him through the control room window, walking back and forth. Young, ready, and hungry. I was saying, drink, rock, drink. Drink, rock. I don't know I'm getting some more if it asked me to. Then pretty soon the phone rang. It was the general manager, and I answered the phone. I said, hello? He said, young boy, this is Mr. Klein. I said, I know. He said, Rock can't finish his program. I said, I know. He said, would you call one of the other DJs in? I said, yes, sir. I hummed the phone up. I said, now, he must be thinking I'm great. <laughs> I called my mom and my girlfriend the sergeant. I said, y'all come out on the front porch and turn up the radio. I'm about to come on the air. <laughs> I waited for about 20 minutes, and I called him back. I said, Mr. Klein, I can't find you know about it. He said, young boy, you know how to work the controls? I said, yes, sir. He said, go on there and segue the records, but don't you say nothing here. I said, yes, sir. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get old Rock out of the way. I put on a stuff-ass record. I said, look out. This is me, LB, Triple P. Let's frown your platter playing pop. There were none before me, and there will be none after me. Therefore, that makes me the one and only. Young and single and love to mingle, certified, bona fide, duly qualified to bring you satisfaction and a whole lot of action. And look out, baby, I'm your love man. I was hungry. Yeah. 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 Does the old man still have the juice? 
That's what I love about New Yorkers. You are animals. You are spun. You want to soak everything out of me. But let me tell you, I haven't even scraped the surface of what I got. Go ahead. You email me at yesandlesscrowd.com. And here's what I want to do. If you would do this for me, Lorraine, how much does this room cost? 25 no, they had three. Three thousand. Three thousand. What I want to do, I'd like to come back and do a full day seminar. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sell yourself, sell your business, and make more money. I want to help you make so much money when people are passionate and boom, you smell like money. Right. I'm yeah. So I want to leave this with you. But here's what I want you to do email me at yes at lesbron.com. Those of you who email me, those are the ones I'll give you, Lorraine, and they get in 
for $125. Everybody else ain't going to have to pay. All right? I have fee. But those that are here, I want them to benefit from supporting you and Kenny and making this happen tonight. All right? Yes, indeed. So I want to leave this with you. I don't know what your goals are. I don't know what your dreams are. But I'm known by this. I dedicate this to you. And the dream that's in you, the greatness that is in you, this next life that the water has broken and ready to be born. Leslie, yes, ma'am, mama, say that thing for me, boy, that makes me feel good. I dedicate this to you. And it says simply this, if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it. And if you simply go after that thing that you want, with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope, and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold, poverty, famish, or go, sickness, or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want. If dogged and grim, you besiege and beset it. With the help of God, you are getting it. This has been Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy and Kenny and Lorraine's pride and joy. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.